We've all heard how important it is to have our dogs enjoy going into their crate or pen. Let me give you some tips on how to get there. Let me show you a little game we like to call the in and out game. Essentially what you're gonna do is get some treats that your dog likes and you're gonna lure them to go into the crate. As soon as they go in, you're gonna drop the treats and then you're gonna invite them to come right back out. You're not gonna touch the crate door. You're not gonna close them in. It's just letting them know, hey, when you go in here, great stuff happens to you. This is gonna help them create a positive association, not only with going in, but with staying in eventually. Ready? Okay, what this will eventually turn into is your dog will willingly go in. Yes, because they want to get a treat. So they're already making an association with going in as positive and beneficial. Yes. Okay, once your dog's going in the crate without an issue, our next step is to get them to relax when in there. This is when we're going to close the door and walk away for a little bit and eventually leave the house altogether to go to work or the store. So when you put them in there, we're going to do this part where we're going to close them in. We want to give them something to do other than worry about where you went. So this is where our long lasting chews come into play. And for example, I have this rubber chew that's just stuffed with some tasty treats and some wet dog food right now, but you can use peanut butter or yogurt or whatever your dog might like. And you're going to give it to them once they go in. Good boy. This is where we'll close the door and we'll walk off. Giving your dog something like this inside the crate not only gives them positive associations and good feelings for being in there, but it tires them out a little bit. It keeps their mind focused on a task and not concerned or anxious or worried or just wondering where you might have been. So they'll actually like going in here to do these activities, which is the goal. Another great and easy trick to getting your dog to like their crate is by putting high value chews like this stuffed rubber chew and some treats, high value treats. Scatter them inside the crate and just let your dog randomly find it on their own throughout the day. That'll get them to like going in there. Good boy. Nice job. Oh, I think we did it. <laughs> So having your dog kind of discover hidden treasures in their crate is going to automatically make it a better place to be. So let's quickly recap some of our crate training tips. Number one, we have the in and out game. Number two, we have giving your dog a long lasting chew when they need to be inside the crate with crate door closed. And number three, we have putting some secret surprise hidden gems in there. I think you'll find with some of these tips that you're gonna start to see your dog fall in love with their crate. Are any of you working on crate training at home? If so, we wanna hear about it. Try some of these tips, share your videos with us. We wanna see what you're up to. And while you're on here, go over to Embark Vet's page and find out more about Camp Embark. There's a lot that you can do to get involved.